Hello everybody, my name is Rebo Monkey, and welcome to Let's Play Penumbra Part 8. I have no idea what's going on in this episode, so yeah. Pretty much caught you up to speed. Is this a map? Okay. Alright. Go to Shaft 12. I guess. We'll go like... I hear one. I've got my... got my dynamite. <laughs> gotta start making moves, I guess. Just throw it. Yeah, come here, big boy. What? I feel I have a feeling I'm in trouble. I have a feeling we hit. Oh no! It it like it's dead. It howled, so I thought I was gonna get like 10 more coming for me. That was horrifying. At least this section has maps in it. Come on. That was an actual thing here. Pretty solid. Oh! The door has uh, been forged shut? It will never open again. Forged shut? I like this area, it has a lot of maps, that's really good for me. The ambient music stopped there for a second, so I thought there was a dog. I can see why they need, they need fencing down here, but why use barbed wire? What are they trying to keep out? I don't know, but it's kind of useless if it's like, not even really a fence. Shaft 12. Another oh, security door. Won't open. Something in the way behind. Uh, door. Alright. Two ways are locked so far. This is gonna be fun. Guess the refinery. We got Shaft 13 as well. Yeah, we'll do the refinery. That sounds like fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oops, sorry. Itching my head here. I don't know where the dogs are. Oh! Oh! Woo! Woo! Happy feet! Alright. I haven't watched that movie in like so long. I don't intend on it, but you know. It's one of those things. Can we get through here? Alright, we can get somewhere. Beautiful. It's kind of saddening it has to be the refiner. Oh. This is actually nice. Look at that texture. Yeah, this actually drags me along. Rock and mine is collectible, fine. Ah, oh, alright. Wanna see what's up here first. Oh, I can't climb because I'm dumb. Control panel for those pistons. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go through like a little obstacle course here. Oops. 
I have a feeling this is like a... Okay. Can we... I want to see if we can get through here first. Yeah, I do wonder it goes... Oh, you can't... Like, lay down your belly and find out? Alright. Play by your rules. You rogue. Did it? Did I just do it? Holy crap! Let's not get crushed here, that'd be horrifying for me. Oh. Ah, only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but... Circumstances do not allow for such frivolities. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are there other belted conveyances now churning in the rock room? I think I know where they lead. It is some kind of heaven or a utopia. This looks important. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do right now. Closed off. I feel like I need to break these rocks. I don't know why. Spare part mode. Right. Bring that with us, I guess. We'll bring all these things with us here. I don't know if we'll need them or not, but I'd rather not have to go all the way through here. How do we get up here? That was fairly precarious. Maybe I should knock it down somehow. Oh, okay. Let me throw something at it. Clearly, that was the wrong idea. Is there a conveyor belt going up there, or what? Maybe I can send one of the things to we'll find out here. We'll send this rock going here. Is that... Is that a thing, or what? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Nice. I was about to give up on it. So. The bear belt must come out of this hole. Oh, okay. This whole facility must have been a death trap. This fan had sliced meat in a millisecond. I wonder if I can stop it. Probably like a rock, maybe? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Send a rock through here, I guess. I don't know where that goes, but, you know. I honestly would rather just put all these things in here and step right back. I don't even know if this thing will get through or not. Yeah, it will. Right. Nice. So we should start to see things flinging out over here. Oh, 
There it goes. We'll send the three rocks, I guess. I feel like I need this. The barrel? Is the barrel coming? I think the barrel's stuck in there. Well, I can't stand up there. I guess they just go through there. Do I have an item? Oh, I have items. I forgot about that. Stick this in here? Come on. I don't really understand at the moment. No, I can't break the chain. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about this button? Oh, it's on. Oh, that's just the uh, shutter. Like that. Ah. What am I supposed to do here, guys? Can't press any of these buttons. How do I stop that? Do I just put the barrel in? I think the barrel's better, maybe? I thought it was better. So I'm not to test it out. Just looking at everything to make sure. Oh! Oh! There we go! Okay, I didn't expect that to work. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we go. Oh. Got real dark there. Wasn't this like really brightly lit up? Yeah. Alright, whatever. Yeah, my... Ga the game automatically uses the batteries for me, and the batteries are way less effective than they were in the game. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could gift me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear at my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young with his stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying road, would you deliver the crunchy feast uh, by way of a final meal. That's disgusting. How do I... It's working? It's running like clockwork. This is a nice surprise. I don't feel like I need this anymore, but I'm taking it. Uh... Oh, I thought that was me getting gas. Oh, how convenient. It's running on a little track. So it goes... This is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Oh, I just missed it. So it's like... This, I guess. Okay, I'm not dead. Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> Alright, I was unsure there, but I'm not dead apparently. 
What? Am I home free? No. I'm dead! It like... Things so random. No! Ah, oh. This is terrible on game. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh man. Oh, I got confused there for a second. Oh, I got confused! Okay. I don't know, like, when I'm supposed to go and when I'm not. Okay. Get out of here! What's this? Okay, hold on a second. Oops. Or is jammed shut, that's what I thought. Hello? Oh. Oh, that noise. That noise, though. Okay, none anymore. Hello? Housekeeping! Oh, okay, I can just go through here like a door. Nice. Oh, that was loud. Hello? Where's this? Is this that, like, first area I checked? With the storage as well? Whatever that place is, where I get the bolt cutters? No. This is that other area where. That shaft area where I was like, oh, dude, barbed wire. Oh, minecart shenanigans here? A cart and tracks for transporting ore. As far as I know, they use the same set up to this day. Or same setup. Oh, okay. Bull cutters? Oh, there we go. What's this? I have no idea what that is. Oh, is that like a... No, I don't know what that is. It's completely closed up. I can't get out this way. Um, I may never get out. Nope. If you think that like that, probably not. Oh, okay. What? It doesn't go in? Oh, come on. Whatever. None of my concern. I wanna ride it. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I can't ride it. Whoa, what's it doing? Oh, wow! That was... Very loud. Ugh. Hold on. Oh, let's get some lights going here. No, we want lights going here. We'll look at all this stuff in a second. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh. Okay, we'll save. Man. A cohort. A man with no name. It is he who opens that this gateway to hell. A grin on his face. He is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. Still, father looks on, something vital in his hand. Alright. Cool story, bro. Can I turn this on? Nice. Okay. We're getting some lights going here. Stacks of books. They're a mixture of industrial reference material and scientific journals. Okay. Get a worm. Alright. Hundreds of newspaper clippings, all to do with biomedical sciences. 
Local wildlife and field studies. How big are these? Okay. KNR Thursday, 1st January 1974. Increased sea traffic causes local concern. Oh, is this a newspaper? Inhabitants of a small village in the relatively desolate northwest have been reporting witnessing uncharacteristically large volumes of sea borne traffic over the past six months. Um, don't mind the dogs. Northwest Greenland is virtually uninhabited uh, by modern standards, uh, containing just 0.1 persons per square kilometer. Uh, one third of the nation na national average. Sea trade has dropped off drama or dramatically since the closure of the northwestern le lead and iron mines in March 1972. The mine itself ceased operation due to massive structural fa failure following an apparently accidental detonation of standard mining explosives where all 47 workers were assumed killed in the blast. Bodies were not recovered. Now, locals are complaining of noise pollution caused by a high and steady volume of ships sailing close to the shore. Unfortunately, uh, in order for any form of official inquiry to be undertaken, the registration codes of the ships in question must be recorded, and since villages claim the ships only travel under cover of darkness, this may mark a difficulty for their ongoing quest for justice. Eric Nunat. Okay. Images and notes relating to the gray rock worm. This thing is big for an invertebrate. Right. Old newspaper. Oh, it's not. Pretty well battered, very little is still readable. Okay. It's badly faded, but it looks like a close up view of some species of annelid. Yeah, like this thing, the worm. Alright. Good. Stacks of books? Yeah, we saw that. Okay, there's a door here. There's a mess of statistics and crude drawings on this chalkboard. They all relate to a large species of animal. Okay. Door's locked. Looks like there's something stuck in this keyhole. Most detailed lock I've ever seen. Poking the key out isn't going to achieve anything. I need the way to collect it. Oh, okay. We'll just put the newspaper under. Oops. Okay. Alright. There we go. Can I have the newspaper back for now? Wait, what'd that say? Oh, okay. I can't have this back. Alright, well. It's not like we're gonna need it or anything. Oh. From the debris, I'd say something huge broke into the room not long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Yeah, hold on one second. Let's. It's an artificial habitat. Those things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. Yeah, probably. All these cabinets are damaged. Something violent went on in here. Hope oh, we don't mind if I do that really quick. Can I? No. I'm just checking to see if there's anything in here. I'm gonna smash these so they don't exist anymore. So much death and disease down here. I suppose slugs were an inevitability. Rip. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> it's long. Okay. These are the biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters. Uh, PhD. Da, 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 da. Um, replication. Subject of study. Genus. The gray rock worm. Um, to investigate the abnormal thingies. Personal notes. Upon arrival of the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer amount of volley, or fauna and all of this. We've heard of all of this. Me. Ah, finally, some writing paper. Look at me, just using up the pages to scrawl down whatever comes into my head. Ha! What is this stuff, anyway? 
Some kind of research paper? No matter. It's paper all the same. I can finally record what's uh, been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It must be near the end of 2001 by now. Huh. I wonder when Christmas is, was. No matter. Too tired to write now. We'll rest a little first. So this is like... Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I thought this was like somebody taking the paper, but apparently not. Professor. Samples collected. The collection proce process has been far, far easier than I anticipated. Uh, the setup of the artificial environment for the rock worm went without a hitch, and the specimens themselves are so abundant as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. They are all of healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as follows. Three adults in artificial habitat, two larval infants dead. Me. I've been down here two days now. Was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy securing the area. I've used some supplies from the old mining system to wall myself in here. It seems as safe a place as any, so those things should at least stay put for a little while. Um... To that end, seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. Um, all this re old research is about something similar to what's been hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what, after what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. I don't know how many are left inside. But this is good. These notes might have some way to fight these things. The rock worms that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming, or how they managed to follow me in the dark. But maybe I can work out or work that out now. I found some old newspaper clippings. I guess they're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old, so big. I can see how that why or now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history buried down here. It worries me though. We've been resting all our hopes of rest or we've been resting all of our hopes of rescue on one of the scientists who escaped right near the start of it all. He got out almost as the chaos begun. Uh, so we figured he might have made it out and brought help. But maybe me and him are due the same fate. I must record what's been going on. Give the world the answers it needs so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself, find a way out of here, and work out how to kill these worm things. Um, Professor, observations. So is this like the same guy switching back and forth between like professional, improfessional? I don't know. Observations. The creatures are indeed larger than has previously been recorded. The juveniles seem to still be growing, far beyond their natural limits, although the adults have now expired. I will watch with interest to see what the lifespan is of the or of this part or particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses, as would be validated by previous research, taste, smell, and an extremely sensitive sense of touch, which allows them to detect vibrations in the rock in the same way that the human eye senses beams of white light and processes them into spatial images. Their natural prey is insects smaller than themselves, and heaven help those insects because the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. Me. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Okay, so this is like him putting, like, he has actual research documents, and then he puts what he thinks, I think. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a, con a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem that they detect a movement via vibrations, which would explain why they can see in the dark. Damn. There's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and continuing. 
I can still hear them, outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study area, connected to the main lab room. If they get through the wall, I doubt this door will stop them, but it's better than nothing. Barely. Professor, the conclusions of suspe- da 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 da. However, should these conditions change or indeed magnify, physical evolution could occur far more rapidly. Given its increase in size and lifespan already, due to its unknown conditions, I would hypothesize that the worm, if left in such conditions for a reasonable period of time, perhaps three or four thousand years, could grow up to a further three inches, making it a total of almost one foot long. It's the fifth day today, and I swear they have begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've uh, entered whatever area surrounds this room. The future looks increasingly bleak. I intend to record here the events of the past year in the hope that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now I realize I could write all I wanted. No one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question. I have no answer. All I do now is, I'd rather take my own life than die at this, or at the jaws of those hideous monsters. I've tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. Oh, that sucks. Slugs. Come on, I can't. Okay, never mind. We don't even need it open. All right, so I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.